Hey, YouTube. I am still working with this cell phone dashboard order mount, whatever you want to call it. I am testing out my lighting. To me, it's like it's very dark, but y'all let me know if it's dark or not. I just got back from the gym. I did like a 45 minute workout. I had on a sweatshirt. It's in the back. I took it off when I came out because I was really hot. Um, I try to keep something on to make me sweat because I feel like sweating is what I need to do in the gym when I work out. Later on this evening, I would probably go for a walk. I have, some, I have a few errands I need to run with my daughter and the baby. Um, waiting for my husband to get off work because I brought him to work. And I didn't think he was going to be here this long. Oh, excuse me. So now I'm just waiting for him. I went to go stop by a local store to see about a lock for a locker, and they were sold out. So now I will have to go in Walmart and get a lock for a locker. Um, I didn't think I was going to need one because once upon a time I didn't really think to use a locker at the gym. But I noticed today it was really a hassle to carry my keys around with me. I mean, my key ring is not very big, but I just don't want to carry around my keys when I work out. When it's easier just to get a locker and throw everything in it. I would like suggestions on pre-workout drinks. What's good? Um, I do like 64 ounces for sure, no matter what. That's the least of water a day. Um, so I don't drink a lot of soda or juice. Um, I normally do a lot of water. The only time I really drink soda is if we go out to eat and it's more where we're sitting down. I'll get it, but through a drive through I normally don't even get soda. I may sip on his, but he normally drinks Diet Coke, and I don't like Diet Coke. It's about the nastiest, bitterest drink I've ever had. Um, but if I'm dying of thirst, I'll get that. I do not like root beer. Ugh, I think root beer is nasty. Is there any advice to working out? Um, I will do a video of me in the gym and how I work out and what I do. Um, it's nothing special. I have no special routine, no special thing that I follow to do my workout. I just go in there. I try to do at least 15 minutes on the treadmill. And then on the elliptical, I try to push myself as far as I can. The time varies. I have no set time on the elliptical like I did the treadmill. The treadmill, I know I can walk it with no problem. I do it, but the elliptical, I have no set. I try to push my body a little bit more than when I really start to feel a hurt and I try to push a little bit more, but now that I have the lupus, I don't know how much more further I can push my body before I really have to say to myself, it's it's time to give up and you know give, give my body a break. I would like to lose, my goal is to lose two to three pounds per week. That's my goal, to lose that. If I lose more than that, that's fine. But two to three pounds a week is what I'm set to lose. My friend didn't call today. She's supposed to went to the gym with me today, but she didn't call me or text me, so I don't know what happened there. So I went ahead and just went myself. I like to work out with a friend. It's just like it's more funner and you want to do more, but not all the time do you have that. Oh, fitness trackers. What do you all use as a fitness tracker? I have the Fitbit Blaze. As of right now, it's 11.24 on August the 20th. I've done 3,574 steps. Um, it might not pick up on the camera. But, I don't know. It's, my phone's sideways, so it may not even pick it up. But, there. Then I also use the LG tracker on my phone um, as a backup. Because I don't always want to keep my blades in my arm because sometimes I'll get hot. Or I'll just forget to charge it and not have it. So I like to keep the LG, the LG one on my phone. It's pretty good. And I like how it says it compares your last week's workout to your current workout. Um, I'll do screenshots of mine and show you all how it was when my grandbaby was in the hospital in Ohio. And how I did a lot of walking. A lot of walking. And it would compare the days. It'd be like, oh, today you did like 1,000 whatever steps more than yesterday. Or like yesterday said that, 
are you taking a break? And I, I thought that was good because it was kind of a good encouragement reminder to let me know that I needed to get get up and get busy and get to walking. This weight's not going to come off me sitting at home and eating and doing nothing. So, you know, we're going to get up and get busy now. I will eventually be doing a what I ate in a day. I will do one two of when I go out to eat, how I eat and what I eat. Um, normally when we go out to eat, I go to Mexican. I order a, I can't even say, I'm not going to try to say it. I will show you all. It's a funny name. It's a lot of food on a plate that I normally don't eat at all. Oh, it's pretty good. How about you? Your food good? I haven't tasted it yet, but the chips and cheese was really good. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, is that all you can eat? This is all I can eat. I am tapping out, but it was really good. I didn't eat the beans. I don't like three fried beans. I don't like beans. But uh, the rest of this, I did eat the uh, mushrooms and the onions in here. Peppers was really good. It's pico. This was guac and lettuce and rice. And like I said, I don't eat refried beans. So it was really good. Like, What happened to your refried beans? <laughs> the baby daddy ate them. I didn't eat them. Yum, yum. outfit that I have on. I didn't say anything about that. Um, like I said, I have on a workout it says crunched in brunch. Oops, can you see it? Anyway, see what's in the way. Yeah. Then I have just a regular gray tank top on with some black leggings. Nothing special, spectacular. Normally, I just have on leggings and a t-shirt. Normally, this is one of the rare times I would wear this outfit because I do not like showing my arms. My tattoo. That's my daughter's name. Um, I don't like showing my arms at all. I have another tattoo on my back. You rarely see them. I don't show them. And I normally keep on a shirt that has sleeves so you don't never see my tattoos. And then my workout shoes. I need to get a new pair. I'll probably go out this weekend and get a new pair of workout shoes. I need to go get my feet specially fitted. For a new pair of shoes because all my shoes I have are kind of like they're old. I need to get some new ones. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and then the next one I'll be talking about my trip to Columbus, Ohio, with the grandbaby, and how I travel having lupus. Until then, please give this video a thumbs up because I love everyone's thumbs. Hit the subscribe button down there and ring that bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Until then, you all have a great day. Bye bye. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh, what are you looking at the camera? I was reading off screen. A few moments later. I hope you enjoyed. Six and a half hours later. I hope you all enjoy. I'm not looking at the camera. It don't sound like a robot when you're doing it. 3.28 a.m. <laughs> Day two. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified of my next. Oh, that was a good one. Up until the end. <laughs> Day. It's actually, okay. Because I was smiling and I was like, yay! Three weeks later. And how I did traveling with Lupus with the grandbaby. Okay. Many months later. Please give this video a thumbs up. I know, it's very hard. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Until then, please give this video a thumbs up. Yeah.